Welcome you boys. Here is Zechariah Wilson, Strong, Jeremiah. Hello, good afternoon everybody. Thank you everyone for coming here uh, this afternoon. It really means a lot to me, uh, people from CCC, aka Dot, uh, my friends. And a uh, special thanks to uh, Honor Mayor Jeremy Singson Golart. Uh, thank you for, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you for gracing this event. And now I want to welcome you again to the EVO uh, exhibition. Now what does EVO stand for? EVO stands for evolution. The art that you see over there is my art as it evolves and progresses into the style that it is today. Uh, my art didn't come in one day. It's all, um, it's all hard work, time, and energy. And I want to take you back uh, to my humble beginnings and to present day to tell you how I got here. So I started doing art uh, as soon as I picked up a pencil. When I was a baby, I was drawing on paper and I was drawing on the walls uh, without permission. <laughs> My parents didn't know, but thankfully they allowed me. <laughs> and um, during my grade school years, uh, I had this really nice art teacher, uh, Miss Cecil. I think she's watching right now. Uh, so Miss Cecil, if you're watching, hello. Thank you for teaching me the art, uh, the basics of art. Um, and I think that Miss Cecil is also the teacher of uh, well, right. Governor Ryan, yes. <laughs> so, a uh, very small world. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, let's move a few years later when I was 11. I started drawing my character named Zach. Um, Zach came from the word Zechariah, which is my real name. I'm not sure if uh, you people know that, but now you know. My real name is Zechariah. So my parents saw me drawing one day, and they were astonished, like, Wow, my son is good. Wow. <laughs> wow, he's a good artist. <laughs> so he collaborated with me, and we created the advocacy uh, Project Zach. Project Zach is an art advocacy where we sold shirts online. And um, with my design and my mom's positive quotes. Um, so we sold the shirts online and all the money that we get is given to a charity. Not only charity, but also to artists who need them, from uh, aspiring artists to uh, veteran artist, artists who need uh, money. And I realized that I cannot give something that I don't have, so I kept practicing, practicing but I didn't do the right kind of practice. And so, until I turned 13, I realized that I needed to take art seriously. I wanted to help people, and I wanted to make a living off of something that I'm passionate about. So, I studied from international artists online, like uh, Ethan Becker, Joe Jazza, Cynic, Simorn. And I learned how they do their shapes, their colors, how they frame their artwork, and uh, more. And not only that, but I met artist friends along the way, and we appreciated each other's arts, and I cr uh, criticized their arts as well. Not criticized, I gave critiques, that's the right word. Now I want each and every one of you to know that critiques are not a bad thing. I want you to treat critiques as a tool to learn, because when I receive critiques, I am happy to receive them. Critiques are something that people see that you don't. If you see what people don't see, you will know your mistakes and you can go from there. But not all critiques are good. There's constructive criticism, which will show you how to fix your art or anything that you're doing. And then there's criticism or just hate. But either way, I want you to treat criticism with respect. Okay. <laughs> and now we're here today. I'm now 16. And uh, in tonight's event, all the money that's earned will be given to uh, the local youth. I am very happy that um, what I'm doing, the things that I'm passionate of doing, is still helping people during the pandemic. And again, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming here today. 
And uh, yeah, let's move to the subject of art even more. Uh, I heard a local store had its own kind of special art, right? It's called vegan pottery. How many of you heard of uh, vegan pottery? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's been practiced for generations and generations, but I'm sad to say that it seems to be losing popularity. So, uh, my goal here in the local store is to incorporate uh, my modern art with their uh, traditional art so it, so it can appeal to all markets of all ages and it could also keep our cultural identity alive as well. Uh, now, I believe cultural identity is important because, again, it's a part of us. So we should be proud of it. We should take care of our cultural identity. So, as an artist, I want each and every one of you, I encourage each and every one of you, to practice your own kind of art. You see, uh, art is not just about drawing. <laughs> There's different kinds of art. There's performing arts, like you know the drama that you see on TV, the uh, love romantic comedies. <laughs> that's that's a kind of art. Um, there's also uh, musical arts like, like piano, and there's also martial arts. <laughs> yeah, the art of fighting. Yeah. Now you can practice your own kind of art because again, there's multiple benefits for developing your own kind of art. Art uh, can empower you. It can make you feel more confident. It's not only just a hobby, even though that's a valid reason to practice art. Um, and yeah, it inspires people to do the same for you. Like if people see why you're doing art, then it should inspire others to do the same uh, kind of art. Yeah, for that reason. So, I want each and every one of you to practice art, to empower yourselves and empower society. Okay, thank you very much.